CadillacCadillac.com. 939, welcome back in today's segment of Clear the Shelters. We are meeting Bert for the first time. And uh, rule number one, Tracy Calvino from Hooches and Pines, <laughs> is to not upset the kangaroo. Rule number two is we to find, not. no, we did not, is to find Bert a home. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. And Alex, thanks for coming in too as well. This is Bert. Tell us about Bert and his story. Bert's about six years old. He's a pit bull mix. Okay. He's about 50 pounds. And uh, he's one of our strays that we are rehabbing. He okay. was found to be heartworm positive. So we started his treatment about two weeks ago. Big difference in him. He could barely You've breathe already seen before. It. Yes, okay. already see it. He's very playful, very gentle, a pure lover boy. Just wants to kiss on you and, and cuddle with you. Um, he likes most dogs. He's okay. selective like most people. Sure. Um, and but but what's essential right now for us, Tracy? We need to get him at least a foster home, if not a forever home. Okay. Because right now our kennels are outside, and the heat is really bad for him while sure. he's recovering from his heartworm treatment. So. How much can, longer in this treatment, Tracy, does he have to do? Um, he's got another treatment to have okay. in a, like six weeks. He'll have a second treatment. So it's still an ongoing process. Uh, it takes a little while, but if we could get him a forever home, that would be ideal. That is ideal. But at least if we could get him a foster home until he finishes the first bout and then the second, that would be great too. By the way, you've been doing great work in Pembroke Pines uh, with you. Pooches and Pines. One of the great things of them on Twitter, uh, you've been very good about reconnecting missing dogs oh with God. their owners just within the community. Yes, about 70% of our dogs go home quickly through Facebook, through all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. It's fun to follow, and of course, if you get involved, you can help uh, reconnect them. Absolutely. But also, you get an idea of, of dogs that do need some assistance that yes, you can help connect. Yes, we have connect. a lot there, too. Yes, absolutely. And quickly, about the screening process for a foster home or a forever home. Um, we have an application online. We'll put everything. We'll go through everything. And then, um, if they have any other dogs, we'll do a meet and greet first to make sure they get along. Okay. We'll do a meet and greet with the family. We'll do, you know, go through the application, do a house check and all of those things. Check them out. Just make sure everybody gets along. Bert's looking for a forever home, or if you could help foster would really Absolutely. appreciate it. It's Pooches and Pines, uh, Pooches Tracy and, Pines. Mm -hmm. and Alex. Thanks for joining us. Bert, you're six yeah. years old. Hopefully we can get you uh, somewhere settled here real soon. You can go to the uh, NBC6 News and Weather app and you can search all about animals for more information on Bert or any other animals that need a hand here in South Florida. So Alex, Tracy, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. You. Okay, Sharon, back to you. We have some great viewers. I'm pretty sure we will get <laughs> home. Well, the bass is pumping, the people are dancing, and the music is filling the air. That's right. We are already in day two.